Good morning. Got a weekly gem for you. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Pennsylvania. I am sitting in my living room, uh, looking out my window. The sky is clear, the birds are singing, and I'm hoping that wherever you are, uh, it's just as beautiful out. So I don't have my, um, my stand for my phone, so I'm just going to kind of hold you here today. Hopefully I'm not bouncing around too much. <laughs> okay. So this week's gem, hopefully last week, um, if you didn't watch it, go watch it. We talked about raising your resilience and different ways to do that. Um, and we talked about making a list of what energizes you, what really, really brings out the best in you. Um, those activities that you enjoy doing that take your stress level way down that, uh, help you to come back into, um, that part of you that feels strong, that feels, uh, safe, that feels energized, that feels like you can conquer anything. Um, today I'm probably going to go take a walk. That's one of my go-to, uh, power up activities is walking in the woods. Um, I live on a busy road over here, but down this other end of my, my, um, street is all through woods. There's some houses out there. It's not really a neighborhood. It's kind of or like a development where the houses are all, all similar. Um, there's actually a mobile home park behind me, um, with some of the greatest people in here that I've ever met, honestly. Um, but then down the road, there's woods and, I love walking back there when the, when the air is, is clear like it is today. Uh, and there's, there's something about doing that that just brings me back into my ability to overcome the little challenges and the big challenges. Um, and it helps me just to kind of remind me that, um, you know, I, I do have the power to, to, to change things. I can change my environment. I can change my thinking. Um, I can change the way I approach problems. And that's one of my activities that helps me to do that. So last week I encouraged you and challenged you, uh, to make a list of things that power you up, that, that really get you, um, in a, in a good frame of mind. So I hope you're able to make your list this week. I would like you to take one of those, uh, or, or two or three of those, um, activities and try to find a way to incorporate them more into your life. Um, I know that for some work hours might take you out of a, um, a schedule where you're able to do those, uh, like for example, if it's camping, you can't just pick up on a Tuesday and go camping. <laughs> well, I guess you could, but <laughs> there would be consequences. Um, so pick one of those activities or two or three that you could just kind of do quickly in the course of your day. Um, whatever it is, I, I, I mentioned a whole bunch of, uh, different activities last week. Um, you know, flipping through a magazine doesn't take any time to just kind of flip through anything that doesn't involve scrolling on your phone for now. We're going to, we're going to talk about the digital habits that we have, uh, in another video. Um, and in fact, I'm putting together an eight day challenge. It's called the eight day digital detox. And what it's designed to do is to help you get better control of your morning, uh, sleep better at night and to take more control of your day and have just more, uh, focus, more control, more, um, intention, uh, and more satisfaction out of your day. And it all has to do with your digital diet. Uh, so we'll talk about that at another in another video, maybe next week. Uh, but for this week, I want to challenge you to try and take some of those activities that you enjoy doing and incorporate them more into your life. What I found with resilience and self-care is that it's not necessarily that you take an hour long, um, break during the day or that you take, uh, you know, vacations very often, although I'm, I'm not saying that doesn't help. But what I found is that little pockets of time throughout your day, even if it's three minutes, an hour, five minutes, an hour, whatever it is, uh, gives you the ability to handle stress better, uh, to troubleshoot 
to, to solve problems, to connect with other people, to connect with yourself. And it really does give you the energy to overcome the stress, uh, the burnout, the compassion fatigue, and all of these things that, that I'm seeing so much of. Um, so let's try to make that our gem for the week is to take that list of activities, pick a few, pick half a dozen. You could do one a day. You could focus on one or two for the whole week, however you want to do it. Again, self-care is very personal and it's about um, what works for you. It's unique to everyone. There's no right way to do it. There's no wrong way to do it. It's just what is going to matter to you and what's going to energize you. Um, and the thing about self-care too, that I, I want to really emphasize, and you'll hear me say this a lot, is it's not just about taking care of yourself. Self-care allows you to be able to take care of other people and it allows you to be more calm and more, um, controlled in your thoughts. It, it, it protects you from overthinking. And what happens when you, when you project this calmness and this sense of control is that people get more uh, drawn to you. And when people are drawn to you, they feel safe, they feel secure, they feel calm, uh, they feel hopeful. And to me, that is the best type of service that you can give to anyone. Whatever kind of service provider you are or caregiver you are, the best thing that you can do for people, whether it's adult or children, is to make them feel safe, secure, and comfortable in your presence. Uh, to me, there's there's nothing, there's nothing like that that com comes even close. Um, so the more that you do these things for yourself, the more that you're able to project calm and project confidence and the more people are drawn to that and the more that you become a living example of how they can also manage their own stress and their own uh, challenges that they're going through and um, help each other out genuinely and genuinely connect with people and genuinely, truly help people and care for other people. So I'm going to end there for today because I do really want to get outside. I know I, I keep looking out the window because I'm watching the trees and the birds. And so I'm going to go take a walk. This is going to be my, my power up for the day. Um, maybe I will take a walk. Let's see. It's about 1130 now. I think I'll take a, about a 15, 20 minute walk now. Um, maybe when my daughter comes home, we can take a quick little walk. She comes home for, for lunch every day. And then uh, maybe after dinner, we'll do that. Okay. So post your comments or questions below. Uh, you can post your list of your activities that you like to do to help others uh, maybe get some ideas and brainstorm. Um, and also we are opening our online virtual B&B. &B. I will put the link below this video. It's invitation only. It's a private bot free community. It's not on Facebook. It's not anywhere of the traditional platforms. It's our own network where it's just us. Those of us who are trying to manage our stress, overcome the burnout and recover from the compassion fatigue and put more happiness and joy and purpose into our lives and care for ourselves the way that we care for other people and uh, spread some more of that love around that, that, that you so generously give to people. So check underneath here. Uh, that will be opening up soon. I'm still figuring out how to use the platform. Uh, so hope to get maybe, I don't know, 25, 30, 40, 50, <laughs> 50 people in there to help me work out all the bugs so that we can make it something absolutely beautiful and something valuable that everybody will want to um, join. Everybody that's in the service industry or care industry who's experiencing um, some of these challenges with, with uh, our emotions at this point in time. So I want you to have a wonderful day. If you can go outside today um, find your gratitude for those things that you do have. This helps build resilience as well. And, uh, check in with us, connect with us, and, uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.